How are we doing, folks? Right, what have we got today? I'm going to do a wee unboxing. So, big thanks to Pomelite. They've sent me another hot tent. So, this one is the Manta. So, we're going to get it out of the bag, put it up. I'll show you what's inside it. Uh, comes in a nice carry case, with all the other Pomelite tents. Uh, so, there's the Hex, there's the Hex Plus, you get the, what's the other one I've got, the kind of bushcraft shelter one as well, which is more like a baker style, but this is another kind of TP style one. So, get it out of the bag, see what it's like. So, that's good, it comes with a stove jack. It just clips on the outside it, and that's slightly different from the previous ones I've had. But they didn't actually have that, so that's a new addition. So that's pretty good. So stick that one once we get it up. Right, then comes the kind of main body of the tent. So it comes with a nice wee a clip round the outside of it. What else comes? What have I got? So you get the main set of poles, comes in four sections, just like the other tents that we've got. Oh, in fact, actually, you know, I don't. So, let's get the main pole, right, and again, it's all linked, but it just slots in together. Now you've got this handy wee section here, so you can use that to, I don't know, hang a, a lantern or whatever on. I'll show you once it's up. Right, I've got another pole here. So I'm taking it, I'm looking at the end of it. There's a section at the front, I think, of this tent that you can hold the front up. I'll get the bag of pegs. So... In here, you've got all the guy lines, so there's one, two, three, four, five, five guy lines. Right, you then get those kind of different sets of pegs. So you get the big heavy duty ones, these are slightly different from the, the ones I had before. So you get six of the heavy duty pegs and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, about fifteen for the wee smaller pegs which go around the outside of the tent. So what we'll do is we'll go over on the next stage, what else is that? Right, you get the, the cone part that goes over the top, so again, very similar to the other tents that we do. Excuse the plane going overhead. Then we get the main section of the tent. Right, so what we'll do, we'll stick it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Right, so this is the actual tent. It looks huge. It looks, uh, I'd say, probably, I don't know, same size as the, the Hex Plus. And there's a few wee kind of extra things on it that I must admit are only on the other one that I had. But what we'll do is we'll pin it out in the ground, stick the centre pole in, and then show you inside. So that's it kind of fully out. Uh, now all I need to do is pin it down. So you get the six main large kind of heavy duty pole, uh, poles, pegs first. And there's kind of six pound points on the outside. So we'll do that first. Just slots into, you see here it's these wee kind of elasticated things. So we'll stick them in first. Tell a lie, 
don't stick that in there. You stick that in these sections. So this again, something new compared to the other ones that I've got. It's actually got a wee kind of tightening system on it. So it basically you slot in on, on that way basically. This is also new uh, compared to the other tents. It's just slightly different, so it's got the mesh uh, kind of sections here, whereas the other ones I've got are more uh, are just kind of open. So that's quite a, a nice wee change, a good wee design feature. We were the advice, especially with these bigger uh, TP tents here as well, putting the cone on first. Just trying to, well, unless you're eight foot tall, they're not the easiest to get on. So, what we'll do is we'll put the, the cone part on first. Again, the actual cone, that's a, that's a different design as well. The, the one in the other tents, uh, the other TP tents have got it kind of folds over, but this is one solid piece. So, you'll notice here, it's got these kind of hooks, so they all attach on to these wee rings so we'll stick this on first right next one centre pole so it's just a case of stepping inside the tent and basically putting it up Right, once you've done that bit, what I usually do is I get the, the six kind of main heavy duty pegs I just get around the full tent and pull, it, pull them all out and put them back in but make it nice and taut Right, stove jack wise, but it's the same. Velcro, Velcro section, and then you just roll that up, and then it just tucks in. Right, you can see there, it's just like a wee, just like a wee toggle. And you just get the stove jack, and that just basically. Well, close on. I do that with one hand. Boom. So easy as that. Right, and like I said, just bell close. So you can take that on and off if you want. But obviously, if you've got the, the wood burning stove inside it, then you're going to have it on. Right, and obviously, this bit is heat resistant. The rest of the tent isn't. So it's very wise. Make sure you, make sure you do have that on if you've got a, a wood burning stove. Right, next up uh, is these additional lighter pegs, so I need each of the flat edges are in here somewhere, and I can find them. Right, and outside as well, it's obviously got this ventilation section, so it's 
so again that's quite handy you put a wee guy rope on that right obviously these additional guy ropes you need to tie these on to this point of the tent here that's what pulls us out so i'm just going to tie them on first right next part of this uh, is what makes this different to the hex right is the way the kind of doors open up so there's different ways you can set this up so the first way i'll do it is i'll, I'll just show you just now is the this part, part down but i'm going to use this other pole that comes with the tent and we'll show you the different configurations so the first configuration is without the pole See there, there's a lot of space in this tent. Yeah. So that's the configuration without the front pole. Yeah, what I'll do next is I'll put the front pole up and I'll show you the next configuration. This is really it's an ingenious design this. Right, and that's with the front pole up, so you can see it actually gives you like a massive big kind of awning out the front of it, so it really is a, a great design, I really like this. So what I'll do, I'll kind of give you a wee spin round the outside of it, uh, just to show you exactly what it looks like around the whole thing. Right, so you can see the space that's under this, absolutely brilliant. So it really does, it almost kind of extends the whole size of your tent out. Pretty neater. Right, obviously you can, you can see all the tie out points. Again, it's all kind of good quality stitching. You've got different tie out points here, the cone. Oh, I've got to put that one on, get that in a minute. Right, you've obviously got the ventilation, I need to try that out and then obviously need an extra bit of guy rope, but I've got plenty of guy rope there so I'll need to tie that on, I'll just do that in a wee minute. But there's one ventilation bit there, there's one here, and so two, two ventilation ports. Right, and then on the inside, you can basically have them shut, or you can have them open, and obviously it's got the kind of mesh in there on the inside, so again, okay, ideal for like condensation and stuff like that. Pretty good tent though, yeah? Definitely, I'm quite impressed with that. I do like the design of that, the way you can have that additional kind of awning part at the front. 
really is absolutely ideal. So I'll, I've not got the specs and that with me, I'll need to go in and get all the, the actual specs of the whole tent and I'm trying to remember what hydrostatic head it is and things like that, but it definitely is a nice design, definitely do like it. So that's the unboxing setup of the Pommelay Manta, so hopefully that gives you a better idea of what the actual tent's like, obviously I will get out of camp in it sooner rather than later, but as ever, thanks for watching, if you liked the video, give it a wee thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't already, hit the bell for future notifications, we'll catch you in the next one, adios.